Hey, it's Sam. On January 31st, Venus is going to be exalted. And it's going to be there, exalted in Pisces, for the next several months until the end of May. This is going to be an enormous um, opportunity for us to really elevate our relationship with Venus energy, which includes romance, relationships, our desires, and where we find our happiness. So when Venus is in Pisces, we can find a kind of sublime and elevated sense of joy, pleasure, happiness. What we typically do is we kind of look for that sort of joy of life and beauty in other people and we kind of often get into a sort of wrestling match with them around our desires, their desires, respect, appreciation, and it turns into quite a, a bit of tug of war as you know in your relationships and not just romantic ones but in relationships with all other adults so again when Venus goes through Pisces like we're gonna have for about four months it'll be an opportunity to really elevate that whole vibration and I'm gonna be doing some readings based on that and you know based on that transit based on your relationships and your relationship with your desires your capacity to compromise um, and so if you want to get an assessment where I'm going to do a 30 minute assessment based on your chart and your relationship factors that includes Venus in your chart how Venus is disposed how the seventh house and the seventh house ruler are also disposed because these are the things that indicate our romantic life and our relationship life and our capacity to get along with others and to yield or battle over mutual respect and then how this Venus in Pisces transit is going to affect you and that includes the Venus retrograde cycle which is going to happen from March 3rd to April 15th Venus will go retrograde that's why it's in Pisces for so long it goes into Pisces January 31st and goes right up to around the end of Pisces then goes retrograde for a month and a half then goes forward again so again four months of Venus exalted in Pisces what that's going to mean for you, what that means for your relationships and your relationship with desire, happiness, soulmate fantasies, projections, all of that. And I will also look at your current relationship as part of it so you can submit your chart and your partner's chart and I will do an analysis of that as well. Nothing else is going to be done in the reading so don't also ask about your career and money and people say oh 30 minutes I'll ask about everything I can think of that's not what I'm doing okay it's relationship your relationships with others in regard to your natal chart and also your current dashas if you want to include a partner of course I'll talk about them and your relationship as well mainly as it relates to you I'm not gonna evaluate their chart and talk about why they're such a jerk you know I'm gonna be talking about you and your relationship and your relationship with them and what buttons are getting pushed and all of this in the context of the Venus transit through Pisces which includes the Venus retrograde cycle so a lot that's plenty for 30 minutes and you can go ahead and register for that and expect about two weeks for it to be delivered might be a little longer because there's a lot of people that register for these but expect about two weeks uh, shouldn't be much longer than that and you'll get a great um, sort of shot in the arm about your relationships, your relationship life, where those things are going for this year. And I look forward to doing that for you.